Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengah handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Jika anda pertama kali hadir ke channel ini, selamat datang saya ucapkan. Tapi jika anda pernah hadir dan kembali semula, tahniah kerana rajin dan sudi kembali. Alright, question number one. So here we have 1.5 kg rock on a frictionless surface is whirled around in a flat circle at the end of an 85 cm string. It has a constant angular velocity of 2.11 radian per second. Okay, so here we want to calculate the tension in the string. Okay, so now let's sketch the diagram. So let's say here we have a surface. Okay. Okay, so let's say this is the circle. All right, and let's say this is the object. Okay, which is the rock. So here we have a length of the string L. Okay, so L is given 85 centimeter. So here is 0 0.85 meter. Okay, and then the mass of the rock is given 1.5 kg. And omega, the angular velocity is 2.11 radian per second. Okay, so here we want to find the tension. Okay, but before we start, we need to draw the free body diagram first. Okay, so here we have a normal force. Okay, since the object has a contact between the table, for example, the table or the surface, okay, with the object. Okay, so there is a contact between the surface and the object. Okay, and then we're going to have the weight, okay, of the rock. And then we have a tension, so the direction should be outward, eh, keluar daripada objek T. Okay, so kalau saya lukis bulatan, Ya, so, lukis bulatan besar macam ni. Okay, untuk kita mudah nampak lah. Okay, sekejap eh. So, adjust. Okay, so this is the center. Okay, so the free body diagram here, we have the normal force. And then we have weight. And then we have the tension. Okay. And then, I want to draw the small arrow for centripetal acceleration. Always do it to the center of the circle. Alright, so now look at the direction of the centripetal acceleration which is to the left. Okay, di mana arahnya adalah uh, in horizontal direction. Okay, so I will write total force. Okay, Fc in x component which is equal to mac. So in this case, we just have tension. The force of tension will provide the centripetal force for the object to move in the circular path. Alright, so I will write T is equal to mv squared over r. Okay, so now we want to find T. We have m r but we don't have value of v. Okay, tapi kita ada omega. So as we know, the relationship between v and omega is equal to r omega. Okay, so now we can substitute here. Since v is equal to r omega, therefore we can write tension. Okay, so tension is equal to M. Okay, R omega squared. So R squared omega squared over R. Okay. So we can cancel out R. All right, now, so let's substitute all the values. Okay, we have mass 1.5 kg. R is the radius of the circular path. So as given that the length of the string is 0 0.85 meter, so, it means that the radius should be 0 0.85 meter. Okay. And then omega. So, omega is given angular velocity is 2.11 radian per second. Therefore, tension is equal to 5.68. So, this one 2.11 squared. Eh? 1.5 times 0 0.85 times 2.11 squared. Okay. Squared jangan terlupa eh. So, the answer is 5.68 Newton. Okay. So, this is the answer. 
Okay, finish example number one. So, let's proceed to example number two. So, here example number two. So, what is the minimum radius a car can turn at 24 meter per second when the coefficient of friction between the tires and the road is 0 0.53? Okay, so let's take out all the information given. So we have V is equal to 24 meter per second. And we have coefficient of friction. So it's equal to 0 0.53. Alright, so this question is related to the object that moving in horizontal plane. Okay, so for example, we have a car turning a corner. So let's say this is the corner of the uh, road. Okay. So, yang awak belajar eh, dalam chapter 6 ini adalah uh, unbanked road. Okay. Dia ada dua eh. Bank road dengan unbanked road. So, yang kita belajar dalam chapter 6 adalah unbanked road. So, kita ada dua. Bank road dengan unbanked road. So, untuk syllabus awak, okay, kita hanya ada unbanked road sahaja. Okay. So, now let's say here we have a car. So, a car will turn around the corner. Okay. So, this is the center. And when we draw all the forces, so we're going to have normal force on the car. Okay, the weight. And then the force that will provide the centripetal force on the car is the frictional force between the road and the tire. Okay, the static frictional force. Alright, and then let's draw the small arrow to show the direction of centripetal acceleration. Okay, so we can write that total Fc in x component is equal to MAC. So, kalau kita tengok dekat sini, okay, satu saja force yang sama direction dengan centripetal acceleration which is toward to the center. Okay? So, kita hanya ada static frictional force. Alright? So, we can write MA. So, since we have V, so MV squared over R. Okay. So, sekarang kita nak cari the minimum radius. Kita ada mu, kita ada V. Okay? So, kita boleh tulislah equation of frictional force mu s n equal to mv squared over r. Okay. So, now look at here. So, normal force is on the y component, right? So, kita tak ada nilai normal force but we know already that total force in y component is equal to zero. Okay. So, tak ada objek bergerak in y component. So, now n plus n is output so positive plus negative w equal to zero okay so n is equal to mg so here we can substitute mu as mg n is equal to mg right equal to mv squared over r so we can cancel m Okay, and then we can rearrange the equation so we can write R since we want to find R is equal to V squared over mu SG. Okay, so in this case we have V, we have mu and then we can find R. So V is equal to 24 squared over mu is 0 0.53 and it's equal to 9.81. Okay. Jadi R you akan dapat 110.8 meter. Okay. Jadi apa yang saya tunjukkan ini adalah derivation. Okay. Kita tahu that the centripetal force is in X component. Sebab tu saya letak total FCX. And then kalau kita tulis total FY is equal to 0. Kenapa? Sebab kita nak cari nilai N. Okay, so kalau ada yang tanya saya, Madam boleh tak kalau saya dah hafal? Kalau you dah hafal, dia tak ada masalah sekiranya yang awak hafal tu betul, kan? Ha, ada yang kata saya dah hafal formula V is equal to square root mu srg. Boleh tak saya terus saja guna formula ni? Tak ada masalah kalau you dah hafal dengan betul. Tapi kalau kita hafal pun, kita kena tahu formula yang you hafal ini datangnya dari mana. Konsepnya dekat mana. Okay, so konsepnya datangnya dari sini dan juga sini. Inilah yang kita derive tadi. So formula R ini sama juga dengan formula yang awak hafal ni. So dia akan jadi R is equal to V squared over mu SG. So sama tak? Sama. Okay, ini yang awak hafal. Tiga saja step. 
dan ini yang awak faham dan you cuba derive. In case you hafal, you terlupa. So, at least you faham berkenaan dengan soalan tersebut. Okay? So, finish example number 2. So, let's proceed to example number 3. Okay, example number 3. So, here we have an object of mass M. So, this is the object. And the object is on a horizontal rotating platform as shown in the figure here. The mass is located 0.25 meter from the axle and max 1 revolution every 0.75 second means that the question give you the omega angular velocity. Okay. So, the friction force needed to keep the mass from sliding is 15 Newton. So, what is the object's mass? So, let's draw the free body diagram first. So, on the mass, so here we have normal force. Okay. And then we're going to have weight which is downward. Okay. And given that the friction force needed to keep the mass from sliding, okay, daripada dia terkeluar ataupun uh, skidding from the uh, platform, okay, kita akan ada satu force iaitu frictional force F, okay, towards to the center. So, this frictional force will keep the object stay on the rotating platform. Okay, where the direction of the frictional force is the same direction as this centipetal acceleration. So, kita akan kata frictional force ini yang akan provide uh, centripetal force to the object so that the object will stay on the rotating platform. Okay, so we want to find the object's mass. So, case ini sama macam kereta tadi. Okay, so we can write that total force. Fc in x component is equal to mac. So, the only force that is same direction as ac adalah frictional force. Okay. So, mv squared over r. So, from here, so we want to find what is m. Sebab f dia dah bagi. Friction force dia dah bagi dah. So, saya tak perlu pun tukar. Okay, kita tahu f is equal to mu s n. So, kita tak perlu pun tukar dalam bentuk ini sebab dia dah bagi dah 15 Newton. Okay. So, now look at here. We don't have value of V. So, what is the value of V? So, since the questions give us omega is equal to 1 revolution per 0.74 second. So, we need to change omega from revolution per second into radian per second. Wajib. Okay. So, kita nak tukar one revolution. Kalau you tak boleh nak congak, buat asing-asing. Buat darab silang satu-satu. So, one revolution. So, revolution duduk dekat atas. So, satu partner dia duduk dekat bawah. So, kita nak tukar revolution kepada radian. So, remember that one revolution is equal to two pi radian. Satu putaran lengkap, okay. Angular displacement untuk satu putaran lengkap adalah two pi radian. Okay, dalam radian. So, saya akan tulis 1 revolution equal to 2 pi radian. Okay, so revolution saya akan potong. Okay, so kalau kita tengok dekat sini, unit dia dah dalam radian per second. Ini yang kita mahukan. So, tekan calculator. So, you akan dapat 2 pi divide 0.74. So, you akan dapat nilai omega is equal to 8.49 radian per second. Okay, you boleh pause video ni, you tekan dulu calculator dan practice untuk kira. Okay, kalau tengok saja memang nampak senang. Tapi cuba kita buat sendiri. Okay, kita boleh selesaikan ke tidak, kita cuba. Okay. So now, we want to find V. So as we know that V is equal to, ha, V is equal to R omega. Okay, so we can substitute here. F is equal to M, V is equal to R omega, so R omega squared should be R squared omega squared, okay, over R. So, cancel out. So, now we want to find the mass of the object, so it's equal to F over R omega squared, okay. So, frictional force is given 15 Newton and R is... 0.25, okay, the position of the object is 0.25 from the center, okay, from the axis of rotation tadi. And then, omega is 8.49 squared. Jangan tertinggal squared. Therefore, the mass of the object is equal to 
3 kg. Okay, mesti kg. Okay, so finish example number 3. Very simple, right? Okay, so finish example number 3. So untuk example number 4, kita akan sambung dalam next video. Jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.